Hi, this is David Abbott. I'm the Instructional Support Specialist here in the Physics Department at Buffalo State College. Um, I teach a course called The Physics of Sound, and I'm also a musician. I've played cello, viola de gamba. If it had strings, I'd probably play it. This is the first in a series of videos for the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra on the physics of sound. In this first video, what we're going to do is look at the difference between pitched sound and unpitched sound. I have two examples here. Um, one is the chime. I'll play that for you. Here's what it sounds like. So that's one kind of sound. What I have here, a handful of marbles. Kind of noisy, kind of messy, huh? So let's take a look at a snapshot of the sound of the chime. So you'll see two graphs here. The upper one we call an oscilloscope graph or a time clock. And you'll notice it's just a regular, repeating, wavy kind of shape. You can see where the words, where the name sound wave came from. It just shows the regular vibration. The lower graph, take a look at the lower graph, this lower graph is called a frequency plot, or sometimes called an FFT graph. And what you'll notice there is a single peak. And those of you who are musicians may have recognized this note as A440. You'll notice that the spike on the graph is located at 440 hertz. And all that means is that the chime is wiggling back and forth 440 times per second. Let's now take a look at the pictures of the marbles in the can. Notice on the upper graph, there's no real regular pattern. It's just a jagged mess. Notice also on the FFT graph that it's just a random collection. There's no single spike that seems to dominate. There's just a mixture of all kinds of notes. It's many, many notes. It's not a single note. The chime, regular, on the time clock, single peak on the FFT. For the marbles, jagged, no pattern, on the time clock, no single peak on the FFT. Hopefully, at this point in this video, you, have, you can see the difference in these two sounds. You can see how visual representations are a powerful way to see differences between sounds. 